You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. Today is another one of my vintage Happy Meal toy sets. Now, I haven't done Happy Meals in quite a while, and I was going through a bin and found five really cool vintage sets. This one's from 1992, Dino Motion Dinosaurs. I have Fran, Robbie Earl, Charlene, Grandma, and Baby Sinclair. It was a six toy set. Plus, I also have the under three toy and two of the Happy Meal boxes, although I believe there was six different Happy Meal boxes. So let's do this. I always like to check out the Happy Meal boxes first. Let's check them out. Okay, so here they are, still flat and fresh from 1992. This one here, let's see the front and back of this one. Well, let's do this. Let me just open them and then I'll twist them around for you. There's all the answers on the bottom, but look at that. This one actually creates an interesting little scene there. Look at that. That's going to take some time, but we'll try to figure it out. This one folds up. It almost looks like some kind of creature here. Two eyes. I'm not sure. I'll have to study the boxes a little bit more. Now, these older boxes had a lot of stuff on them games you could fold the boxes lots of things to do here so let's see lift to open cut along fold and something and pull forward what would a dinosaur be doing in the north pole uh, he would be let's see freezing ah that's funny and then i'm the baby gotta feed me so it looks like Part of the perforation is in this area here, so that all gets cut out. Hold this picture in front of, uh, in front to read the, in front of a mirror to read the name of the dinosaur who took BP's lunch. Looks like there are some hungry creatures in the woods too. Count the creeping creatures of each color and write your answers in the spaces below. So all the little creatures in there. That looks like the actual front of the box. Lots going on. Make your own swamp monster. See box bottom. Ooh, okay, so it's a swamp monster. Uh, it's a jungle out there. Earl and Ray want to munch their lunch, but their food has escaped. Circle seven matching pairs of food that are hidden in the forest. Ah, oh, very cool. Matching game. Uh, this looks like a squiggly phone cord all the way around. Uh-oh. Earl's Bassasaur, or Bossasaurus, BP Richfield, is angry. His lunch has disappeared, too. He's calling every dinosaur around to try and find it. Help him decide which phone cord is connected to each plug. So it's a maze, basically. What happened to the skunk when Earl stepped on it? Let's see. What happened to the skunk? It became extinct. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, that looks like the front. So these two were the fronts. Okay, this box makes a dinosaur's play scene. See box bottom for diagram. Cave, sweet cave. Hi, honey, I'm home. So there's uh, something going on here. Uh, Earl's home from work and he wants to take a nap. He's too tired to find the words hidden in the puzzle. You can help him by circling the words Earl. Tired, nap, bed, and sleep. Look backwards and upside down to... Look up backwards upside to all answers on box bottom. All right, lots going on there, too. Let's see. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex who? Let's see. Tyrannosaurus Rex the car every time he drives. What kind of people like dinosaurs? Mm, I don't know. Paleontologists, they dig them. Ooh, that's so funny. Uh, e Earl feels like a fossil. He wants to lie down, but the kids are watching music videos. Circle the numbers on Charlene's remote control that are out of order from left to right. Now add up the numbers you have circled. The total should be 21. Dudasaurus. See, lots going on here. These boxes were jam-packed. Uh, baby's trying to get his dad's attention. He wants to show him the two paintings he has made. Find five things that are different in the painting. So you're looking at those two, trying to figure that out. Wow. Why didn't Earl ever take a bath? I don't know. Why didn't Earl ever take a bath? Because he took meteor showers. <laughs> eh, that's funny. What's worse than a centipede with sore feet? A brontosaurus with a sore throat. Ooh, this looks like some 
uh, mixing here. This is like a coloring. The Sinclairs are looking for Earl, but Baby found what he's looking for. You can find it too by coloring in the dotted shapes. It's such a tiny little area to work in. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Have you taken a good look, good close look? Imagine if there were six of these at the time and kids made all six. I know I've seen at least four. Crazy. Oh, did I miss that side? Monster Hognarty. Okay, I don't know. There we go. Some cool boxes. All right, let's start with this one. I want to take a closer look at it, come back, and we'll see how this creates a... What does this one create? A scene. A dinosaur scene. i got to study it just a little. Okay, looking at this... Let's see, it says create placing by cutting a long dotted line between panel with refrigerator and panel with the end. Open box. Okay, so that was right here. So cut along this dotted line. Hmm. And then I have to punch everything out. Oh boy, 1992. No longer a mint box. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. Punch out refrigerator door so that it can open and close. Okay, so I see that it punches out this way. And then there's a fold right there. Okay, so now the door can open and close. Next. Punch out food creature hands. Okay, food creature hands. I saw those right here. These are complete punch outs. Okay, there's my food hands. Okay, punched them out. Punch out food creature hands. Connect tabs. By sliding one slot into another, now slide finger puppets onto the tip of your fingers. Okay, I don't think I need to do that right now, but I think I know what they're trying to say. We want this to be over this. That's kind of funny. How am I going to do that while trying to put this crazy thing together? And then that's, that's going to kind of round like this, I believe. And then these will go over each other. And then you have a finger puppet. And this one under here. There we go. Ooh, lock in. Come on. Come on. That's kind of it. It doesn't want to lock in now. I guess that's my finger popping. Hello, I am a... Let's leave that there. Not sure why that's the next step. Uh, punch, okay, punch out window D and door C so they can open and close. Here's the door. And it's got a break here. And then here. It's like a double door. And then window. I believe this is the window, yes. Looks like the window needs that one edge there. Okay. So those open and close. Punch out, okay. Punch out TV screen and put toy behind the boy. Put toy behind to create your own dinosaur. Okay, so I'm thinking we've got to open up the toys to do that. Okay, punch out. TV, punch out TV screen and put toy behind to create your own dinosaur TV show. Punch out cabinets so they can open and close. Well, I don't think I opened this door. Okay, that opens cabinets. This must have been the cabinets. I already opened it. Okay, now where's this cool scene? What am I... What am I missing here? They show you putting your fingers through that one, this TV here. 
like that. It just looks like it sits open like this, and that's your scene, like that. That's kind of what they're showing. I'll give you a side shot. At least that's what I'm seeing. It sits up. Yeah, that's it. Now I probably could go one more, like break it here, because there are perps in here on this one, like this, so that this opens up more. And, I, and there's perforations on this side as well. A little harder to get out there. There, so now you got that folded out kind of look with the stand like that. What do you think? Crazy. Just crazy. Lots to do there. And they want you to play with through here like your little TV show is what they were saying. Okay, let's do this. Let's grab the next box. All right, so this one I get to make to open seaside panel. Okay, cut along fold, cut along fold. Let's see. Cut front top panel flaps along dotted lines. Fold flaps inward, then fold front top panel into box. Uh, yeah, all of those. You know what I'm saying? I just can't imagine a, a, a younger person trying to do this. Cut out and pull forward. I don't know. In the 90s, were people sitting in the McDonald's, did you see them with scissors, or did you take it home and do this? I just don't see it being easy. And I've done a lot of these, and some of them are pretty challenging. Okay. Some really elaborate ones. Okay. So now we're getting somewhere. This comes out. Oh, cut along this line. I don't see any cuts here. All right, let me try to figure this out. All right, so what did I do? Cut top flaps at all. Cut Swamp Monster's tail along dotted lines and pull out. I think that's Swamp Monster's tail right there. Okay, so you kind of see this creature here. Punch out Swap Monster's mouth. Okay. That's here. Hmm. I think you need the tongue though. There's an extra fold in there. Okay. He's like... Like that. Use your hands to move the monster's claws and tail back and forth like a puppet. They show this like this. This like this. Okay. This sits out to the side. Something with this I need to figure out. Okay, so there's a... No, I thought there was a slot there. Hmm. Oh boy, see what I'm saying? Cut top front panel flaps along dotted lines, fold flaps inward, then fold front top panel into box. So like this. Like that. I think that's it. Okay. And then use your hands to move the monster's claws and tail back and forth. Claws and tail. Here's his tail. Here's his claws. So I think you're just kind of doing that. That's what I'm getting. I'll give you a straight on shot. You see, it kind of looks cool from the front when you look at it, doesn't it? All right, enough of that. I did my best. I did what I could. I think that's kind of what we're looking at here. It seems like it's a cool looking monster. All right, let me check out the toys now. Let's see, I don't have a particular order, so I'll just grab one and we'll learn more about it. All right, so I don't know much about dino motion dinosaurs. 
I don't know much about the show. Watch us on ABC. Press the button to see fantastic action. Collect all six. France Eclair. I'm the mama. This is probably one of the longest Happy Meal bags I've ever seen. All right, let's see if we can try to preserve the bag. I usually do this, cut just a little piece there, and then the back like that, and I can take out the toy, and I won't get part the front. Okay, so here we go. So it's a hard plastic figure. Ooh, and there's a base. A spot for her feet. Looks like that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, if I can only get these on, there we go. Okay, All right, I need to be holding that, so let me bring the camera down. So we have to figure out what her motion is. It looks like she's got a spoon in her hand. I gotta get this just right, here we go. I wanna zoom in so you don't see me just yet, here we go. Okay, so she twists to the side. Do, 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 do. Do 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 It does say dinosaurs on that side of that, and this side just has the screws. There's not much more to the toy. Let me just do that a few more times. Oh, oh boy! Stand there and dance like that. I mean, it is pretty neat toy the way you have this long. Tube, it almost looks like air is going through. I don't see any line in there or anything like that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let's grab another one. You go there, Mama. All right, so this one is Baby Sinclair. All right, let's learn about Baby Sinclair. I mean, the forethought for. Someone back in the 90s to save the boxes, save the toys. It's really interesting. Okay, so Baby has like a pan. And his legs do turn. So I'll try to get him to sit. Let's bring the camera down. Let's check out Baby Sinclair. And Baby Sinclair kind of scares me. There you go. Okay, so both arms move and head tilts to the side. Okay, so let's see if we can get Mama in here. That's going to be the hard part, me doing both. What are you doing with that pan, baby Sinclair? Mommy, I'm playing with my little pan. All right, I think that's what you would do as a kid. Try to act something up. Robbie Sinclair. I know, horrible acting. Totally Jurassic. The other one said, gotta love me. Right, I won't do any more of that. Ooh, he's playing a guitar. They're really nice toys in regards to figures and just the overall... Ooh, so... Ooh, what's going on? He doesn't work every time. He's supposed to pop back. There we go. He had, to, he had to loosen up a little bit. Little rock and roll loosening up there. They, let's see if we can get him to stand. Here we go. Alright, there you go. Okay, now we have Earl. Earl. Hi honey, I'm home. Someone's going to have to fill me in on the show. I know, I'll Google it, but... Was this somebody's favorite show? I want to know that. You know how we all grew up on our favorite show? Okay, so let's see what good old Earl is up to. Earl's the heaviest, biggest toy so far. You know what I should do? I should just take the other ones out of the bag. That's what I'm going to do. I don't have to keep going up and down. Grandma Ethel... Let's get her in there. 
There you go, Grandma Ethel. Grandma Ethel is sitting on a chair. Oh yeah, look at that, that's kind of funny. All right, well, I might as well do this one now. Okay, neat. Head moves, hand moves. Last one, Charlene. There you go, Charlene. What does Charlene do? I guessing her arm shouldn't be twisted that way. Looks like Charlene's on the phone. Yes, bringing the phone. Maybe we can get her arm up just a little. There, perfect. Hello, 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 hello. Anybody there? Hello, hello. Okay. And there was that one toy. I'm gonna play with these just a little bit more. I'm having fun. Let's get them all in here. This was the under three baby Sinclair. Oh, it's a squeaky, I think. Oh no, it doesn't squeak. Too bad. He's a squishy of sorts. A squishy, non squeaky in the egg. Oh, that's too bad. He should have been a squeaky, but he's pretty cool. Uh, he kind of scares me, but he's pretty cool. Just the overall coloring of these toys. If you, I don't know if the, how good the camera's picking them up. It's pretty good. Let's see, let's go over each one again. Let's do Granny. I think Grandma is probably my favorite. Let's see, here she is. Kicking up her feet, wagging her tail. Let me get a good look at her. Yeah, we got a good look at her lack. We got a good look at her, good look at her. She's like playing basketball with her head. All right, let's see. This We know the rocker with the cool. Good to her. Well, this one's a little finicky. Took a while, remember, to get it to... There we go. Okay. This one here, he's pulling his arms up with the uh, pan. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to present these and stand them all up, unless I put some of that sticky stuff down. But I think you get the overall picture, yeah? Which one is your fave? That one was the first one. It was just kind of side to side. I don't know. I'm sticking with Granny. Granny's my favorite. Well, let me do them all one more time and try to get it just in the camera frame. Without my hands, without everything distracting. Here we go. Granny first. I have to put that there like that. Bring the camera up and... A little tighter for Granny. Here we go. Whoa! And then knock it over. Yeah, Granny's gonna be tough. I got this this way here. That's Granny. I think you get a good idea there. Okay. Let's do baby. Got to kind of angle the camera that way, zoom in just a little, and bring my ham out of the way. Okay. The rocker we've done a few times, but we'll try to get it to work now just in this particular area. Well, that one's the best so far. Stands the best. Okay. I guess it'd be pretty cool if you had all your family there and everybody was doing a different one and you can put on a nice little skit. Okay. Not my favorite. This guy. Lady, I mean. Let me get the camera back just a little. And then, there we go. Alright, last one. Nah, I'm sure you're all with me. Grandma's got the best action with her feet kicking up and her tail swinging. Alright, well, there you go. Interesting set. Cool boxes. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Camera's wiggling all over. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you. Like I said, I got three or four other interesting sets, uh, which uh, I have never shown you. But this is a pretty neat little collection of toys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.